Hello, welcome back to Scaffold Design for Scaffolders. In this video, I will solve the three exercises I gave you on lesson five. If you haven't tried to solve them yourself, please go back to video five, try to solve all the exercises and then come back. So let's go with the first one. Calculate the stress on a 10 meter long HEV 200 beam that elongates 2 centimeters. Remember the equation we are going to use always. Stress equals young modulus times strain. Now, we want to calculate stress, so we just have to input the values. Stress equals elastic modulus. It's a steel beam, so we know it's 210,000 Newton per millimeter square. The strain is the elongation over the original length. So if we use centimeters, then below we also use centimeters. 1000. So that's 410 newtons per millimeter square. Okay, or 420 megapascals. The same thing. Now, if you had this result on your calculations on a structure, you must make sure that the steel grade you acquire is above 420 megapascals. So consider that this is the maximum uh, load any component of the structure will bear. So the ultimate capacity of the steel must be above 120 newtons per millimeter square. Second one, calculate strain on a type for a steel upright with a stress of 36 megapascals. Also, what's the leg load? Remember the equation, and those are the areas of steel uprights and aluminum uprights. We want the strain, so strain is going to be stress over the elastic modulus. And that's equal to, we have 36 megapascal for a steel is 210,000. And that's 0 0.00017 or 0 0.17 per thousand. Now, what's the leg load? If you remember a stress on any point on a structure and any direction equals the load in that direction over the area. So stress equals the load over the area. So we can calculate the leg load as stress times the area. So we have 36 megapascals or newtons per millimeter square times the area for the steel is 5.57 centimeter square. So in millimeter is going to be 557. And that's 20,000 newtons. So, as we said in previous videos, for leg loss we are going to use kilonewtons. So that's 20.05 kilonewtons. Now we are going to solve a very similar case, but 
with aluminium. So this tie is strained on aluminium upright with the same stress of 36 megapascals and the leg load. Now, if you remember, we said that the elastic modulus indicates how easy it is to stretch a material. The elastic modulus of steel is 210,000 megapascals. For aluminum is one third, 70,000. That means that for the same stress, aluminum should elongate three times more than steel. Let's check it. Strain, as before, we have 36. And now it's 70,000. And that's zero point. Fifty one or zero point fifty one. Okay, as expected. Since we are on the elast elastic range of the materials with a lower elastic modulus, the strain must be bigger. Now the leg load. So same thing as before. If the stress is load over area, the load is going to be stress times area. So here we have 36 times the area that is going to be 615 millimeters squared. And that's 22 or 22.14 kilometers. That's it. I hope you had the correct results. If you didn't, please try again. Have another look at this video. And if you struggle with anything, please send me a message and I will help you out. Thanks for watching. Bye.